we're very appreciative of the very swift decision which uh, Dr. Rowley has taken in less than 24 hours being in office as a um, dispatch yourself to Dominica to do an assessment. You know. um, as you know, Dominican Trinidad have had excellent relations with for a very extended period of time. Um, and because Trinidad plays a very important role in, in the CARICOM leadership role in CARICOM and in the Caribbean. So we welcome your, your visit here. In the first, uh, Trinidad assisted us uh, very nicely as one of the first responders. Um, with uh, some helicopters, because at the time we only had um, access by air. Yes. Almost virtually every village was colored from each other. We still do have a couple communities that are still colored from each other. In the east, we have Dailies and uh, what is called Whitica. We're seeking to see how we can get a Bailey Bridge across there to gain access. And of course, the community that was badly hit, hit the van, yeah. where some um, 20 people um, yes, were missing, yes. uh, we found five bodies. But one can safely say that this, the, the, the 20 of them all have, have perished. So that village had to be uh, evacuated. So we still have some people in shelters, and um, some have found um, accommodation and family and friends across the country. Uh, there's another community we've had to evacuate, a smaller village of 129 people. Uh, so it was a pretty difficult storm uh, caused by, by flooding. We are still seeking to do some dredging in some areas to just to improve the safety. Uh, you will take a drive today to the east, to the west coast of the Kulibi Street, so you have an appreciation for for this. Uh, but it's going to be a long road back to, to where we were. Uh, the people are resilient. I mean, the amount of work that we've done at first creating temporary emergency access to communities, um, improving the airport, cleaning the airport to the point where the Eastern Caribbean Sea Aviation Authority has given us clearance to, for commercial planes, notwithstanding the fact that the apron is still not back to um, original state. But in terms of the facilities, though we'll be doing everything manually um, because we have to procure the, uh, the, the navigational equipment and for customs and also the security uh, passport, uh, readable machine and so forth. But I think your presence here uh, representing the, the Prime Minister and the government and people train that for us is um, and for all of the citizens, once they, they saw the announcement, we were, we were very uh, elated because one's presence, physical presence, um, you know, gives them hope that we're not in this alone, that the people will be prepared to, to hold our hands and to work with us to make life better for everybody. So 